Oh, look at these guys. I have a bit of a Frankenstein monster here. This is a 386 motherboard, but it has only PGA card connected to it and this uh, Frankenstein board that I made, which is uh, kind of FPGA plus Raspberry Pi combo connected to this Eisen bus. Let's see if, if it works. The goal is to basically have uh, this combo of FPGA plus Raspberry Pi act as everything conceivable, like sound cards, hard disks, network cards, etc. And in fact, in this case, I have modified the VGA BIOS so that it can boot from the Raspberry Pi and it doesn't need any extra ISO cards. But at the moment I need to actually still kind of get stuck in the beginning and I need to log in to the Raspberry Pi via wireless. It serves a disk image, but I need to, I didn't uh, make it out of starting. So I still need to actually start my service. Actually, now that I, <coughs> I hit enter, this machine should should boot. It takes a while because it <coughs> reads the. Yep, now it booted. <coughs> reads the disk image. Yeah, there it, it reads. Now I can just log out of here because the service is running. This is all coming from from the image in the Raspberry Pi. There's nothing really connected here. And of course I have my Adlib coming through the Raspberry Pi as well. I was implementing Sound Blaster as well, but at the moment PCM is still not working. But I think I will get it working. Yeah, 386 is maybe not the fastest machine, but Everything works pretty nicely still, all things considered. I even implemented the outlip detection in the FPGA. Playing by just one hand is maybe a bit annoying. Sometimes this VGA of mine it loses colors. Let's see. I should get the color back back by just resetting the system a few times. Yeah, now we have color. It's a problem in this particular model, it's a known issue. Another Another big deal. 
is actually a software software fix for that as well. Okay, now we have color. Oops. Almost saved it. What else do I have here? As far as I can tell, the 
support is almost perfect. What the fuck? I have some keyboard issue. Planning to there's a header here. I was planning to actually connect also Toslink SPDF SPDF optical output so that at no point does the signal necessarily have to be analog, except of course after your final duck, but in this digital part of the system. Okay, anyway, that's all for today.